Alright, we're running the overclocking cryogenic chiller in the Zero Ice Purge case. Uh, inside that case it is about uh, minus 16 degrees right now. Uh, that is from the gaseous nitrogen, so the whole board and everything is running uh, at that super low temperature. The uh, thermal check that you can see in there uh, is at minus 181 degrees Celsius and uh, we are chilling uh, the FX 8350 so our board is uh, the Formula Z Crosshair 5 uh, Asus board Asus board and uh, the processor is the FX 8350 AMD FX 8350 all right, so uh, also here we have the OCC. The OCC is regulating at minus 181 degrees Celsius. It might be a plus or minus one degree. Uh, and uh, it's also, uh, like I said, delivering that gaseous nitrogen down to the purge case to keep everything dry inside. So super low temperatures, super dry environment. All right, so we're going to run a Nova bench here real quick. We're going to do one from the perspective of Nova Bench, just so you can see the stability of the system, and then one from the perspective of the overclocking chiller, so you can see uh, why the system is stable, and that is because the overclocking chiller is delivering mass amounts of liquid nitrogen. Just kidding. It's delivering just enough liquid nitrogen down to uh, the chuck to keep... Um, your system stable. So this is going to be fantastic when uh, this gets applied to the um, competitive gaming market, um, the maybe eSports. Uh, people will be able to run their processors at extreme temperatures without having to go through all of the um, all of the rigmarole of pouring and monitoring liquid nitrogen uh, into uh, into onto their system to keep it cool. Uh, we have uh, gotten rid of that uh, need by uh, creating a machine that regulates the liquid nitrogen and uh, also adds heat if it gets too cold. So people who are running uh, systems that are um, uh, uh, Haswell systems or maybe other systems that have cold boots. I know the um, 5960, the Intel 5960 has a cold boot of uh, minus 130 degrees Celsius, which is um, always a, a big problem because uh, liquid nitrogen uh, boils at I think about minus 190 degrees Celsius so anything uh, below 190 degrees Celsius it's just about impossible to regulate so um, however with the overclocking chiller all we have to do is uh, set a set point um, let's say we want to set a set point at uh, minus uh, 100 degree 130 degrees Celsius we would just do that and then it would regulate there at minus 130 degrees Celsius. So we're going to run that second benchmark and we're going to show that uh, running from the perspective of the overclocking chiller and um, show the machine uh, chilling the system. Okay, so again we are uh, at um, 6300 megahertz on four cores. We're starting our Nova Bench benchmark and we'll go ahead and watch the overclocking chiller respond uh, by adding liquid nitrogen and heat to, uh, to cool it. So right now we're at minus 177 degrees. So as that CPU is being stressed and heating up, um, that uh, overclocking chiller that you're watching is adding uh, liquid nitrogen down to the chuck which sits right on top of the CPU and it keeps that CPU super cold. So we have uh, successfully created the optimal environment uh, for computers to run. Alright, so it looks like our um, our uh, temperature spread was about uh, four degrees. We're now at minus 176 and we started at minus 177 but it looked like we went down to 173 or 174. 
So as you can see that one lit up, it's adding heat so it doesn't overshoot it and go down to 179. If 179 was your cold boot um, or your cold bug, uh, the OCC set at 177 or 178 would uh, prevent your system from crashing uh, because of the uh, ultra low temperature and going overshooting it. All right, so that's how it works. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you'd like, visit lnlcooling.com. You can see more about our overclocking chiller, got photos and stuff there, and if you'd like to purchase one, they are right there.